Thank you. Uh, so very much connected to what Katie was talking about. Uh, I'm going to show you three projects in three minutes uh, of uh, non-geographic spaces. But interestingly, we can use cartographic principles and uh, even GIS platform technology to present them. Uh, and these are uh, multivariate spaces, network spaces, as we've talked about, and then uh, network um, uh, natural language processing leading to the depiction of knowledge spaces. Um, and uh, so uh, the, the problem is that we're living in a data rich environment, but we really would like to be in an insight rich environment. To, and, and how do you get to insight? You get to insight by providing context. So I would say that not data, but context is the new gold. And that's really what's been driving my work over the last two decades or so. And I wanna highlight the three most recent projects where we're using cartography, cartographic principle, GIS technology, and apply that to non-geographic spaces. So first there's coronavirus. So you've all seen the 2 billion views of the Johns Hopkins dashboard, but we can use the same GIS platform technology to present uh, the concept spaces of coronavirus from story mapping to dashboarding. And it's creating surprising amount of um, impact in, in that. So we've had active users in, in uh, 60 countries. And of course, there's nothing as good as a compliment from my dear friend, uh, Sarah Fabricant on this kind of work. Uh, the second project is a uh, multivariate space. Here we have 5,000 patients with STEMI. That's about 40% of heart attacks of, are of this type. And we're analyzing the left of boom variables, the state of the patient before the event. And we're now leading up to a holistic visualization. And then we're going to project into that post-event uh, survival, strokes, and so forth. Again, we're using GIS, but it's not geographic space. And then finally, it's also time to move spatialization from the academic sphere towards real products and, and commercial applications. And we've been doing this um, with the book map platform where we have these interactive maps, uh, very much like Google Maps, but they're not just pretty pictures, they're multi-scale, uh, but they also have uh, intense reference engines underneath to where even coronavirus was already a concept present in these maps that we created pre-pandemic. And we're now building uh, some interesting applications on top of that, really a new type of spatial analytics. And, um, and, and it's, it's finding quite a bit of resonance. Uh, this is in fact the last slide. And so you can all now interact with these spaces. OGC, for example, now has the first base map of the domain. So far, people in 80 countries have accessed this. And I'll be happy to put the links into, into the chat as well. So you can all experience uh, the geography of these non-geo reference spaces yourself. Thank you.